Greetings Pro Tools users. This is just a real quick informative video on uh, the latest Pro Tools 2020. This is on a PC Windows computer. The reason I'm doing this is there doesn't seem to be a good video on YouTube that actually shows the um, the correct way or even the process for importing audio into your session. And this is actually for coming from a a Macintosh experience. So the Mac version and the Windows version of importing audio is different and the screen actually does look different. So I am a Mac user. So the reason I'm doing this is I'm also starting to use PC and I wanted to make sure that everybody can properly import that audio into your Windows Pro Tools session um, so that it if you ever see instructions from a Mac person, you'll realize there is actually a different instruction for PC users. <laughs> and here we go. So here is a Pro Tools session. All I want to do is import some audio into it. I'm not going to drag and drop. I'm actually going to go through the file menu. I'm going to go down to import audio and then find the audio to put into the session. So I put all my stuff onto the desktop and I put it into a folder that's called some audio. Now this is where it starts to look different from a, a Mac perspective. So Mac perspective, we have, we don't have it here. We have it over here. So this is what I'm gonna do. Notice that I clicked on that folder. We have to double click on that folder. It will reveal all of the audio. I'm gonna cl click once, hold shift key, click on the bottom. Now I'm ready to import all of these into my session. Now notice they are highlighted. And now I have these options here. Now on a Mac, those options are way over here. So right away it starts to look different and slightly confusing if you're not expecting this. Okay, add files is only going to link them to their current location, which is on the desktop. That's bad. So when given the option, we always want to choose convert or maybe an option that might say copy depending on the types of files you're using. But in general, I do not check add. I always check convert or copy if it's an option. This will regenerate those audio files and put them into a brand new folder, which is housed inside of your session folder. This, which, which is what you want. I'm going to click convert files. I'll see all of those clips now show up over here on the right hand side. I don't have to do any of this. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Also convert because my current session is at 48,000 and all of these audio files were made at 44.1. So that's why I need to convert these in order to make them work. Again, if you click add, it's only going to put a link to those those files. Um, but anyhow, so I'm going to click done. Okay, now this is also the biggest change is on a Mac, usually lower right hand corner, we just click open and then we're done. On the PC, you actually have to come over here to the left hand corner. Okay, so again, it says, what folder do you want to use? This one is going right into my desktop, right into the session, which is called untitled, very creative session, I know, an untitled session. Inside that session folder is the audio files folder. So I'm going to click use current folder. Now it will go ahead and convert that audio and it's up sampling it from 44.1 up to 48 kilohertz. Give this a minute or two. Okay, and five, four, three, two, one and a half, one, point five, and zero. All right, now it looks like now where you look like uh, normal, I mean, Mac, PC, now they look basically the same. But that process of getting here is different. So just keep that in mind. If you are coming from PC, um, expecting to see certain things, or if you are used to Mac and you're trying to use PC, notice it is different. Uh, 
I know in some of my classes, I'll give instructions from a Mac perspective and just assume that they will transfer to PC. But in this case, I did want to make sure that you saw that difference. All right. Well, at this point, you can click new track or clip list. If I click on clip list, it is not going to create new tracks. It is going to put them into the clips column, which is on the right hand side, which is currently out of view. Um, if you click new track, it's not going to create all those new tracks and paste that audio right there. For example, click OK. And boom. Also, one other pet peeve of mine, notice when I've imported that audio into new tracks, all of those tracks are by default selected. So if I go to do something like delete track, for example, they will all delete. And that is not undoable. So Another thing I always like to do is go ahead and just unselect all of these tracks. All right. Um, let's see if I can find on. I don't think I find unselect here, but I can do this. Alt key and then click with your mouse will unselect all of those tracks. All right. Very good. Hopefully this is helpful. And take care.